very thrilled to say that Mary joins us now from Beverly Park in Sydney. Good morning, Mary. Hi, How Mary. are you? Good morning. I'm well, thanks. How are uh, you? We're great. Great to have you on the show. Congratulations on a really massive year, a huge year for you. Is there a moment that, I guess, that stands out in all of that wonderful chaos? <laughs> Uh, it's hard to pick just one moment, um, but, you know, I think looking back, probably that penalty shootout against France was pretty epic, so that's a bit of a highlight. Yeah, hanging in the Louvre, that moment <laughs> was just absolutely <laughs> stunning, wasn't it? Um, you know, you guys didn't just have a stunning performance in your own right, you've really changed the game for women's sport in so many ways. Have you noticed a shift when you are out and about here at home in Australia in particular in the way people are responding to you and the rest of the Tillies? Do you feel that you have created a shift in things? Um, yeah, I definitely feel there is a shift in things. I think there has been um, a massive spike in the popularity of, of women's football in Australia, but not just in Australia, I think globally as well. Um, but. I don't, I don't live here, so like I'm not around it heaps, so it's hard to be like seeing, you know, exactly how much things have changed. Um, but you know, just hearing from the other girls, like it's, it's quite amazing for, you know, people to just walk down the street and then for you know others to recognise them and just be, you know, wanting to congratulate you on on what you've done. Um, it's yeah, it's amazing for the girls to be able to get that recognition. I mean, you may not live here, but the reaction is so big. I mean, mm. the hype around you and your teammates is so massive. You're on the cover of Marie Claire as well. I mean, it, it's really all go. Look at this fantastic <laughs> shot of Mary. Um, I mean, how's it feel now? Did you ever think like when you were kicking the ball around in cans, you'd be like, oh, I'd love to be, a, a, you know, on the cover of Marie Claire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, I don't think I, I thought of that growing up. You know, I think, and I think maybe for, for a lot of us, like we just grew up playing a sport that we love doing and you never think of all these other opportunities that come with playing that. Mm. Um, so yeah, I always say I'm, I'm super likely to have come into football at this time because there's just so much opportunity for women. Do you like all that stuff that's now attached to the game with you because you guys are so big? Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, the, all the extra media stuff, yeah. a bit hectic sometimes, but mm. yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you always got to try to see the other side of that. Like, people are showing up for us, people are supporting us, they have an interest, so it's like being able to put yourself in their shoes and be like, if I can make someone smile today, then, then that's a win and, and that's almost bigger than football. Well, you're not just making a smile, you're inspiring a nation yeah. at the same time as well. Um, the Olympics, of course, are the next big thing. Only two more games against Uzbekistan stand between, uh, between you and go getting to Paris, qualifying for Paris. How do you like your chances? How are you feeling mm -hmm. about the Paris games? Um, excited. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people look at those games and just expect us to win and just, you know, have a walk into the Olympics. But I think, you know, we're not there yet and you have to treat each, each game seriously. So that's what we'll be doing and, and preparing for that um, in, in a proper way. Well, as you say, you're not back here very often. So what are you doing in Beverly Park this morning? Um, I am actually right now... Um, here because I'm visiting some of the, the kids and, and the workers at Rise and Shine uh, Kindergarten. Um, so a bit of an exciting day here. Mm -hmm. And um, why are you there visiting the kids? Tell us a bit more about it. Um, to be honest, this is my first day meeting everyone and I've probably been here for like 20 minutes and already really love it. Like everyone's so family orientated, which is such a big yeah. value of mine. Um, so. Still a lot to learn about the place and a lot more that I get to see and I'm looking forward to seeing all the kids. Um, but yeah, from what I've heard, you know, they, they, uh, they, we have a lot of values that align and, and what they're offering these kids is amazing and really going to help them for the future. Well, there's no doubt not just the kids there at Beverly Park who get to see you in the flesh today, but you and the team have really inspired not only the that generation, but multiple generations yeah. of, of young girls going into women's sport, including soccer. Mary, thank you so much and congratulations on a bumpy year. We can't wait till next year. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. And we know we're going to see you in Paris. Come on. We know it's happening. Should Don't we, worry about got it. We've got her brace packed. <laughs> packed. Hey, you're not fool enough. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Mercy for coup, Mary. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and...
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.